Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to continue our work on the train project uh, by building part number nine, which is the cow catcher. I have the blueprints up here in front of you. And the way we're going to do this is build two different sketches on different planes and then loft them together. So we'll have a, this sketch up top, the bottom part, loft them, then we will shell it and then put these additional features on. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start our first sketch um, just down here on the XZ. And we're going to lay out our lines. It's best to start most of these things at the origin, by the way, because then you have a point that it locks to. Uh, it's going to be 1.8 is our overall width. We're going to come up 0.25. We're going to come to the middle and then back over to 0.25 and then down. Okay, it is important to go back and dimension all these and check to make sure that they're at the right dimension. Um, Inventor does some funny things often and that it'll go out five or six decimal places. You'll have 0 0.250001 and uh, that will mess you up whenever you start trying to loft it. Okay, the top is one. And then from here to here, we just need to check to make sure that's 0.9, which should be because we got that reference point when we drew up to here. Okay, so we've got the width, we've got the height of the sides, we've got the overall height of the part. We're gonna finish the sketch. Then we're gonna do an offset plane. Now when you come down here, if you notice, it's looking for a plane. And if you go to the bottom left, it'll tell you select a planar face. Well, there's not one here. So you'll come over here. Yours will probably look like this. I already had it open. And then we're gonna click, nope, that's not the plane we want. Right there, the XZ. We're gonna offset at 0.75. Just go ahead and hit enter. And then we're gonna start a sketch on this one. All right. So I like to project the geometry of these lines so I have reference points. Then we can go back in and erase those here in a second. But all right, so let's go ahead and we're going to draw in the line here. And that's going to be 1.2. All right, and then we're going to come up, same type thing, 0.25. We're going to come to the middle. And actually, if you notice, your middle of your 1.2 is right there. So we're just going to go ahead and click there. All right, and then we're going to come down to here. So let's dimension all these. These should be 0.25 already, and they are. And this one looks good. And then let's go to the top here, which is going to be 0.75. And then we're going to... Just check to make sure this dimension is still there, 0 0.6, which it is. That's a good thing. And then we're going to need to make sure that this bottom line. Sorry, I'll get it here in a second. All right, so that stayed 1.2. So if you notice now, we're a little bit off center. So we're going to dimension from here to here. Okay, so you take the difference of 1.8 and 1.2. That's going to be 0 0.6 and divide that by 2, which is 0 0.3. Okay. And then it looks as though we've got everything in. Let me just look back over. We've got side to side. We've got these 0.25s. Um, that's for the upper figure. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is go in and delete those projected lines from the other view. If not, it's going to mess you up when you try to loft it. Okay, we're going to loft bottom figure to the top figure. Hit OK. And we're going to come around here. And so you can sketch on the front of this. Um, let me just turn the visibility off of this plane right quick so we don't have to keep looking at it. Okay, so this is what we want. And um, what I'm actually going to do is go back in and mess up one of these sketches just to kind of show you. I'm going to delete the loft not the sketches. Okay, so let me show you something what will happen because often this will, um, I've seen this happen a lot with people when they're building. So I'm going to go to this. I'm going to change this to 0.251. All right, and I'm going to finish the sketch and then I'm going to loft it. 
Okay, everything looks great, right? You really couldn't tell any difference. Then when I go here, this side, if you notice, I've got a problem. You cannot sketch over here, and we think that's because the planes are uneven because um, it makes planes based on these points at the vertexes. Um, this face is okay, so you can still sketch here, but this one is not, so that means we've got a mistake in there. So if that happens, just go back to your sketch, edit the sketch. Um, this can be kind of a, a hunting process for the wrong dimension if you don't know um, what's happened. I mean, it just comes out, everything looks fine. Now it's right. Okay, next part, we're going to make that cutout on the front, or I'm going to prep for the cutout. So again, project geometry. We have that face, and then we just use the offset tool, which is really nice because then when you go to actually dimension it, it's 0.1 from this line to the center. Okay, so all I have to do is use the dimension tool here to here, 0.1, and we're set. All right, so that's how you do that part, and then obviously you would extrude it back. I really advise first, however, that you go ahead and shell it. So you go here, shelled it out. I think, yeah, 0.1 is what it's supposed to be at, so we're good there. All right, we're going to go back to the front. We're going to extrude this, and this is always a bit of a challenge. The depth of this is 0 0.05, and we know that because the whole thing has been shelled 0.1, and then you can see right here they give you this depth. So I always have students asking, well, all the dimensions aren't here. They actually are if you'll just take the time and uh, look very closely. All right, so now we're back here. We're going to type in 0 0.05, and we want it going the other direction, however. All right, there we go. And then same thing on this side, project the geometry, do an offset. And then when you go to the back, you're just going to create a plane here. Um, just put in some circles. We know that one is on the center point, so they go there. All right, and then you're just going to start dimensioning these based on um, the figures they give you here. And I think that's about it for the cow catcher. I'm not going to walk you through that point. Most of you guys at this point know how to extrude and dimension parts. All right, thanks for watching.